Hey, hello everyone. This is Vishal Bhoyer. Today we will try to answer a very interesting question that why do hydrogen ions are called as protons? And this protons we generally encounter in many biochemical reactions and in many reactions they are referred as simply as a protons instead of hydrogen ions. Now why it is like that? Let us try to answer that one. Let us get back to the periodic table of elements. In periodic table of element, the hydrogen is shown like this. The hydrogen is shown like this. In this, the hydrogen is having a number which is above its head and another number which is below at the bottom side of hydrogen element. In hydrogen element, or in any element, this is a very general pattern. Now, what do these numbers describe? This number describe very important property in any atom. The number which is above the element is known very well as atomic number. And this atomic number is denoted by capital Z. And the number which is at the bottom of any element is, is called as atomic mass number. Atomic mass number is denoted with capital A. Now let us see how do this help us in getting more information of an atom. The atomic number is by definition is written like this one. The number of proton present in the cell or the number of electron present or revolving around that nucleus. So atomic number tells us the number of proton present in the nucleus or the number of electron present outside the nucleus and as you know this is a universal law and you must have seen earlier that in atom the number of protons are always equal to they are always equal to the number of electron so the positive charge is always equal to the negative charge so if three protons are there then three electrons will be out of the nucleus revolving around it and as the charges are equal that's why atom is neutral in nature then let us come to atomic mass number atomic mass number is denoted by definition it is written like this the number of proton in the nucleus and the number of neutron present in the nucleus now this atomic mass number is denoted d as the sum of proton the number of proton and the number of neutron now the proton is having positive charge and the neutron doesn't have any charge that's why a zero is written like this so in case of atom we have always seen that the atomic mass number actually gives us the idea of how much atomic weight is there in any atom now in case of atomic mass number why they have shown only proton plus neutron when we compare the weight of proton neutron with electron electron are having very negligible mass when compared to proton and neutron so that's why it is considered that atomic mass or atomic weight is accumulated in the center and what is present in the center we know it it is called as nucleus and that's why atomic mass number which denote which gives us the idea of atomic weight that's why it is written the sum of protons and neutron because it directly tells us the nucleus 
focus on nucleus and what is present in the nucleus the proton and neutron and that's why atomic mass number is written as the sum of proton plus neutron now with this particular information let us calculate how many protons neutrons and electrons are present in our hydrogen atom so let us start from here atomic number we know the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and as we have got the number of protons or electron present in hydrogen atom so number of protons equal to 1 and number of electrons revolving around that hydrogen nucleus is 1 so we have got the values then if we consider this atomic mass number we want to calculate how many neutrons are there in the, in the nucleus so in this particular fashion let us get over here the atomic mass number is 1 the number of proton we have got from this particular things the number of proton are 1 and neutron I will write like this it's simple calculation we will get the number of neutron 1 minus 1 1 is coming over here and we will get the number of neutron present in hydrogen atom is actually 0 so what does this tell us so in hydrogen atom if we consider and with this particular information the number of proton electron and neutron that we have got from this calculation let us draw the structure of atom of hydrogen so as you know this is a nucleus of hydrogen atom and i will show electron orbiting like this a single electron is present and how many protons you know very well one proton and there are no neutrons actually in the nucleus of hydrogen atom now in a very general reaction which involves the ionization of hydrogen ionization of hydrogen i will write the reaction like this hydrogen giving the only electron present in its atomic structure and it gains a positive charge for our understanding i will i will write like this hydrogen within it with its nucleus and electron these electrons are given as soon as it gives its electron it ionizes into this we write h plus now why we write h plus why there is a positive charge as you can see if electron is leaving from this so what we are getting now we are getting this particular structure what is left only the atomic nucleus is left in case of hydrogen now as only single electron was there it was leave, it is now leaving this uh, atom atom and what is left now only the atomic nucleus and what does that atomic nucleus contain only a single proton and what does that proton is have proton is having a positive charge and that's why h plus hydrogen ion is having positive charge are you getting my point now okay so now why it is called proton as you must have understood now only a single proton is uh, only atomic nucleus is left and what does that atomic nucleus contain in hydrogen a single proton and that's why our hydrogen ion is called as proton so i think you must have understood the question that we have started with why hydrogen ions are called as protons so thanks for watching and if you would like to see more videos from our channel then kindly like and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot